Welcome back to another video and today we're here with Art Extravaganza. If you're new to my channel and you don't know who Art Extravaganza is, it's a group or a collective of artists here on YouTube who get together every summer to do a string of collabs and challenges and they're some of the most amazing, welcoming, nicest people I've met here on YouTube. So please go check them out, they're all linked down below and we're here with another video. So today we decided to do the Draw This Again challenge and what we done was everyone in the group kind of paired off and then gave each other images to choose from. So me and Edward Suo were paired off and and we both gave each other images from our collection of artworks that we have done in the past and we let each other choose what image we wanted to draw again. So she gave me four images to choose from and believe me it was one of the most difficult decisions because our her artwork is so unique and it's completely different to what I usually do. Her ideas are amazing. I just wanted to draw all them but of course I didn't have time to draw all them so I chose this one. Now let me tell you why I chose this one. I remember her putting this image up on Instagram and thinking wow just wow. The there was so much detail to it. Insane how amazing it was. I believe she done it with acrylic paint or gouache or something. It's definitely not watercolour and I was thinking wow just wow <laughs> like it's so much detail. So that's where my decision came from. I decided that's why I wanted to do that piece because I just remember being in awe of it when she posted it first. So that's my process there. I was very tempted by an another image she gave me. There's like a hippie dude and he has a machine gun for a head with flowers over it and I've done something similar in that I've done a hippie and I've done a gun that has like peace symbols and stuff on it. So I have done kind of similar images. I thought that would be a cool way to tie it into my own work but I decided to go completely out of my comfort zone, pick something that just I'm in awe of and try and recreate it and I'm really glad I did. The only thing I kind of regret with this image is that I really wanted to do it in watercolour just because watercolour is my favourite medium. It truly is and the paper, the watercolour paper that I bought, it was too small. It's A5 in size and it was simply because they had no A4 sheets in the shop when I went in to buy more watercolour paper. On top of that I have a feeling a lot of people were feeling the watercolour paper when I bought it just touching it and grubbing all over it because the oils on the page made it very difficult for the paint to stick. You can see it while I'm painting you'll see it especially in the hair. The darker colours just would not stick. There's like really clumpy spotty areas in the painting and it's really annoying because you know watercolour is so beautiful when you put it down on the page you want it to flow nicely not get all clumpy and have to like dig your brush in to try and get it past that oil there that people left on the page. Now that's just my opinion there could be something with this brand of watercolour paper I'm not going to tell you what brand just because I don't want to be negative towards that company it might not be their fault. Other than the problems with the watercolour paper and you know it being too small and the oils on it and stuff I really enjoyed this challenge I really enjoyed recreating Ed's work I don't think I done it justice her piece is 500 million times better but the original always is she's linked down below so please go check her out I'm so excited to see her half of this collab and of course everyone else in the group who are also collabing together. Um, other than that, that's it really for today. I do have to say that I am planning on holding a contest sometime next week because I am just about to hit 1000 subscribers which is just mind boggling. I can't even like this time three weeks ago I was at like 600 subscribers so that's it makes me over emote. <laughs> Too much emotion so thank you so much. Yeah I have some great prizes. I'm collecting them all because I just want to give away everything <laughs> and I have to I have to say thank you in some way and this is the only way I can so yeah there's a contest coming up so stay tuned for that and let me know what you think of this video and definitely go give everyone in the group some love I hope you have a great day bye hey, no, 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 no.